It's legitimately like we've skipped the climax of the arc and went straight to the after party. All of the immediate problems are solved. Every complication that Oda set up has been solved off screen. Right now, One Piece is like, it's seriously messing with my tiny mind brain. Because I loved everything that happened here, but I have questions, so many questions. And honestly, part of me hopes that Oda won't even bother explaining. Because it's the Straw Hats, we've seen them do this how many times, like 40? We know that they know how to solve problems and come out on top. This is just another day at the office. So hey, do we really need to show our working for this one? Especially after Kaido. After dealing with him, how exciting is it gonna be to see a lesser villain painstakingly foiled? Probably not very. You can only go up from Kaido when York is not up. I do wonder if it was Oda's plan to do this, or if he just did the maths on how long Eckhart Island would be during one of his breaks, and thought to himself, eh, that's a little bit too long, and decided to skip it. I mean, the idea being that the best part of the mystery is the not knowing bit, so as soon as we find out, you know, let's just skip the rest, get to the conclusion conclusion and let's deal with the next thing. He probably did have this in mind because it's a pretty great way to structure the scene. What I really hope is that this flashback gets expanded on, but I highly doubt it will. It seems more like an SBS gift. Oda makes this one panel and then expects someone to ask a question about it later, at which point we get the backstory in great length. However, this chapter was nothing short of an absolute gift for, well, for everyone, because this chapter was bigger than I think we realized. It's one of those chapters that just cannot exist in any other series, because no other manga has the body of world building that One Piece comes equipped with 1,000 chapters into serialization. That's why it works so well, because we see all of these nostalgic locations in Crisis. And the thing is, we actually care about all of these locations because we've taken the time to get to know the people there.